Hi there, this is Noah Vauder. Uh, I'm an electronic music inventor and developer. I've made a number of instruments in the past from the original Zox sequencer to the one bit groove box to ambient edition and the electric eels. My big thing now is guitar pedals and especially guitar pedals for the do-it-yourselfer, for the DIY person. So what I'm going to do is put together a series of videos where I introduce you to a bunch of the different guitar pedal development systems that I've been researching and I want to show you the pros and cons of each one of them. So there are going to be a whole bunch more videos in the series, but just to get you started, here's the first th ones that we're going to look at. Three systems I've found that are really good for the aspiring person who wants to program their own guitar pedals or other digital signal processing effects should be looking at. These include the Tone Core system from Line 6, the FV1 chip from a company called Spin Semiconductor, and then a board called the Codec Shield. There's a particular way to put these together using two pieces of hardware from Leaf Labs and Open Music Labs. Now before we go on, I'm going to show you what each one of these systems looks like real briefly. First of all, here's the Tone Core system. It looks and acts and is a regular old guitar distortion pedal. Uh, like many others. In fact, Line 6 sells this same pedal in a non-developer version. The major difference is that this developer version has a little USB port on it. And that USB port lets you upload new software into it. Another system that I'm really fond of is a chip called the FV1 or FV-1 from Spin Semiconductor. This is a pedal I'm working on. Uh, here you can see it's got the FV1 chip on there. That chip's got its own set of uh, advantages, advantages and disadvantages. Finally, here is a guitar pedal I've been building based on two different boards. I'm going to pull these apart for you. There we go. So this board here is called the Codec Shield. And it's called a shield because just like a lot of Arduino shields, it is an Arduino shield. The only difference is, um, in my development, I use a different motherboard. Instead of the original Arduino, which has a slower processor, I use this one called the Maple from Leaf Labs. It's much faster and much more powerful. Um, and when you're using digital signal processing, you definitely want more CPU power if you can get it. Note that this board does work on the original Arduino, but all of my work is going to be using this uh, upgraded version. So that's about all I have time for in this first introduction video. But keep watching and we're going to get really into depth. We're going to have audio examples and especially coding examples on how to do all of this. And then eventually uh, we're going to have a community and I'm going to have a store and we're all going to make our own audio effects. Thanks very much.